Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. On this video we're going to be doing another murder mystery. This one is called Hot Chocolate to Die For. Okay, so... We're going to fast travel... Well, first of all, we're gonna sh I'll show you it. This, we're 50% through the murder mysteries now. This is Hot Chocolate to Die For. So level 3 difficulty. It's a not good one this, and it's also one we don't have to run around too much, it's all in the same house or area. It's over here in the Marais area and you just have to make your way to it, and then we'll start it off. Okay, so we find a woman of a body, Valerie Ducal. That's the first thing that we do, and she has... dead. So we got a look around here. And really close, you can see it there, it says interact. You can hardly see it in the in the picture, but it is there. There is an upturned cup. And there it is. It's a Japanese style cup, but it says and it's been turned over upturned. Next you're gonna go and talk to the woman standing over here. What are you doing here? This is a private tragedy. If you must know, I am Amelie Mauvoisin. This is, was, my elder sister, Valérie Duclos. I refuse to believe that Georges poisoned her, even after what she said. Valérie and I were quite close, but I must say, she was simply dreadful the entire evening, drinking too much, insulting everyone. The worst was when she announced she planned to denounce Georges to the Committee of Public Safety. Okay. So, if you carry on searching the area, you'll see over here, there's a flower bed. And in that flower bed, there are all sorts of lovely flowers that can be crushed up to use for poison. That uh, just leaves one more thing, which is in the garden. There are five clues here, remember? And that is it. It's a ring that we find on this bench. And this ring, basically, it has a hidden area where liquid can be kept and there is a sign that there was liquid in it okay so next you go into the house itself and we're going this is to the kitchen the first thing you do is go to this area over here and look at the kitchen supplies which shows that someone has been brewing hot chocolate with milk nothing more than that uh, from there you go and talk to the maid never even when her husband, rest his soul, was alive. He was a true gentleman, he was. Mr. George was his friend. Used to come by for meals and eat and eat. Pity he'll be getting the chop. But madame, spit her day lording it over poor Miss Amelie and yelling at Master Pierre. Who knows what Miss will do now? Not having a penny to her name and not likely to find a husband at her age. Okay. And then you get this mortal and pesto which is obviously is used which can be used for crushing up garden herbs and so after you've done that if there's no stairs to go up you'll have to come out the building and climb up to, to the window to the next window along which is this one and climb in the dining room from here there are five clues in here she was difficult George but she was my mother I promised her so if you come around here There's a silver pot here, yeah, it didn't come up to it just then. There's a silver pot there, which... Oh look, those cups are the same as the upturned cup that was downstairs, eh? And over here on the table, there is a snuff box. You can just see it, but it's there. It's a nice snuff box, silver, and it's inscribed to uh, Georges Villiers Sugarnet. Okay, so that's two of the clues, let's think a minute. Yeah, there's another clue before we talk to anybody on the table, which is a letter to Pierre Ducos, the, um, her son, basically telling him that, you know, she's going to get the money soon anyway and he won't be able to squander it and he certainly won't be able to do it on the girl he wants to marry. My mother was often difficult. And she was particularly nasty this evening. I suspect it had to do with a letter she received earlier in the day. 
In any case, she became angrier and angrier until she finally stormed out into the garden. I told Lucille to take her a calming cup of hot chocolate, but Aunt Amélie, fearing Lucille would upset Mother even further, took the cup away. Mother's always been unhappy that I inherited most of Father's wealth, and she often accused Lucille of wanting only my money. But that's all over now, isn't it? Lucille and I can marry at last. So, there we go. Yes, she threatened me. She made baseless threats at every dinner party. But she was getting angrier and angrier. So I repaired to the terrace with my brandy. On my way back down, I encountered Amélie. She sent me out to the garden to calm her sister with some hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. So now we're in the study, which is just around the other side, and if you look over here, you will see that there is a letter crumpled on the floor. And the letter basically says that it does seem that, look, due to the documents that she's found, she might have a, some some case to get the money. There's also a study a book of Paris society here. The four clues here, by the way, just so you know. Paris society book. This book is um, the commonplace book and in this there's a recipe for a poison and over here we have some documents and these documents basically show that the Mon Vincent women um, are to inherit because some clause I don't know what okay anyway there's one last cl clue to go for before we uh, solve this um, and we, that's, on, that's this lady on the terrace. We got along very this well. This is Lucille. Oh, she was a bit concerned about her son being younger than me, I suppose. But I've known her since before her husband died. Poor man took ill and asphyxiated. Shame. He did manage to put Georges in charge of the family finances. My, that made Valérie furious. Very amusing. Tonight, she seemed especially angry. She's never threatened Georges with execution before. Oh well, takes all kinds. Okay, so now we're going to make our accusation. Have you got any guesses? Well, it's the sister. If you must know, I am Amélie Mauvoisin. This is... was... my L damn you. Interfering where you're not wanted. Valérie didn't deserve that money. I did much more for the honour of the family. She was nothing but a vile, hectoring drunk. You. If I were you, I'd be careful what I drank. <laughs> nice. I love a hot chocolate myself. I believe I'll have one now. Meanwhile, see if there's something you want. Okay, that's it sold. We get 500 lira. We'll leave for it. And here we get the heavy hilted sword as well. No match on the sword we've already got. But that's where we're going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now.